In order to use any of the Google Maps API services, we need to obtain an API key from the Google Cloud Console website. In this lecture, you're going to learn how to create an API key, then how to enable billings, as the API keys do not work without that. After that, I'll be showing you how to protect the API key as it can be exposed to the users. Finally, you're going to learn how to enable different Google Maps libraries. I'm very excited to show you them all. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and open up the Google Cloud Console website on the browser. So console.cloud.google.com. It will ask you to log in with your Gmail account. As you can see, I am already logged in, so it takes me straight to the Google Cloud Platform dashboard. In order to create an API key, we need to create a project first. To create a new project, go to the top and choose Select a Project drop-down menu. It opens up a project window where you can see the existing projects and I have one project here. Okay, at the top right, create a new project by clicking the New Project button. Then give it a project name and the location is no organization for now. It's good. And hit Create. This will take a few seconds setting up this project. Once it's done, you can go to the project by clicking the link from the notification icon at the top right, or you can go to the Select Project drop-down menu at the top and choose the project that we want to create an API key for. Once the project is selected, it will take you to the project dashboard. Next, let's create an API key in there. So go to the top left bar button, then choose API and Services option from the sidebar and choose Credentials. Then click Create Credentials and choose API key and done. This is the API key that you will need throughout this course. Okay, now we have an API key, but without building enabled, this API key won't work when we are making a request to the Google Maps API. Let's see how to set up billing next. Go to the sidebar and billing, choose manage billing account and choose add billing account. Select your country and select the terms and conditions. As you can see, Google gives a $300 credit for free at the time of this recording. And it's more than enough to complete all the project in this course without paying for this service. Click next, then choose the account type, then address, then add your credit card information and hit start my free trial. Once billing is enabled, you're all set to go. Billing is based on number of HTTP requests that we are making to the Google Maps API. So we need to protect the API key so that no one is actually making an HTTP request with our API key. As you can see, there is a warning icon before the API key name. That means this key is not fully safe. Let's see why it is not safe. In my case, I'll be using this API key inside the view components in some projects and it will be exposed to the client. That means anyone can open up the source code on the browser and be able to find this API key. Then they'll be able to make a whole bunch of HTTP requests with this key, which is no good. That is also called quota theft. Luckily, we can protect our API keys by allowing HTTP requests that are only coming from a specific domain. In this case, your own domain. Let's see how to do that. Click on the name of the API key. Then inside the applications restriction section, choose HTTP referrers. Then come down to the website restrictions and click on add item to add your domain. In my case, softauthor.com 
and choose done. We can also restrict the API key to give permission a specific maps library. Okay, hit save. And now you can see a green check circle indicating that the API key is safe. Nice. I will be using different Google Maps libraries throughout this course, such as Google Geocoding API, Places API, and so on. By default, the libraries are not enabled. We will need to enable them as we need them. Let me show you how to enable Places API, for example. Go to the library from the left bar and you can see all the available Google Maps API libraries. I'm going to choose Places API and hit the Enable button at the top. Then go to the APIs option and you can see the Places API under Enabled APIs section. 